Good morning folks, it's Tuesday the 6th of September and it's sailing day. So today we're going to jump on board the longest ferry trip I've ever taken at 19 hours. But I'm quite happy about that because we board at 3 o'clock in the afternoon, we disembark at 10 o'clock tomorrow morning, so that should give us plenty of daylight time to film the beautiful departure from Oslo Harbour and then the arrival into Copenhagen as well. So I'm actually quite excited about this. Let's go. From here at the Royal Palace, if I just walk straight ahead, it'll take us right down to Central Station. And that's also quite near the Opera House, which is right on the coast. And that's quite near to the DFDS terminal, where we'll board the ferry today. This straight ahead that I was talking about appears to be the main shopping street, but with this small bag and barely enough money to buy a coffee in Oslo, I'm not going to be doing much shopping. And that's us down at Central Station. Well, this is a compact city, very walkable. And off in the distance, I can see the DFDS ferry that will be my accommodation and transport tonight. Here we are at the Opera House, right down beside the sea. It's a stunning building and I think you can walk right across the roof. There's something about Scandinavia, they've got this trait of being able to mix traditional and modern really well. Beautiful building. From up here on the roof, there's a beautiful view out over the city, including the ski jump we were at yesterday. And off in the background, our ship for tonight. Ah, I tell you what, I would love to come back sometime and try one of these saunas where you can cool off by jumping straight into Oslo Bay. Not even joking, if enough of you agree in the comments, we will come back and do that in winter. Right, let's head along the waterfront and look at some of the other boats before we step aboard our own wee voyage down to Denmark. Here we are at Oslo Cruise Terminal, and it's not every port you can get this up close to the ships. It's absolutely massive, and that's not even one of the big ones. I guess we can just pretend we're on a cruise tonight. One night to Copenhagen, 60 quid. The plan now is to head to a wee supermarket or something and buy some supplies. I haven't checked the onboard menu, but I imagine a ferry from Oslo to Copenhagen, two of Europe's most expensive cities, it's not going to be cheap. So it's a good idea to have some food with me, just in case. Right now I've got my supplies, we just walk straight ahead until we hit the sea. Not too far, which is just as well, because I've left it a bit late. And there we are, home for the next 19 hours. Let's get checked in. Yeah. 
There we go, I've got my boarding card, which I think opens the cabin door as well. So let's get on board. This is deck five, this is where I'll be, but just worth noting that the cabins, the standard ones at least, aren't open until 15 minutes before departure. So I've just got to wait until quarter to three. So in the meantime, we'll just go for a wee wander. Looks very nice. Let's have a look at this sky bar. This is as high up as we can go. What a fantastic ship this is. This is definitely more cruise than ferry, to my standards anyway. Oh, it's busy. But it does look like there's plenty of outdoor space and that's an absolute must for this departure out of Oslo. <laughs> Oh wow, there's not a pool and jacuzzis on the North Link. Imagine sailing out of Oslo just sitting in the jacuzzi. I've got to check the prices for that one. I don't know, I can't see a reception for the pool area. I think you just turn up and use it. Just as well I've got my swimming shorts, eh? There's so much deck space open that I kind of get the feeling like I shouldn't even be here. We're right under the lifeboats in amongst the rigging. But here we are. So there we go folks, there's my cabin. It's small, but wow, this whole trip cost me 60 quid, and that's for a 19 hour ferry from Oslo to Copenhagen with my own bedroom. And I think I have a bathroom as well. I'm tucked out the way up at the bow of the ship just now and we're about an hour and a half into the sailing but I can't even tell you how spectacular that departure was from Oslo. So I'll show you, I'll put some clips in just now but I'm going to have to cover them up with music because it's windy up there. Look ahead, the sea is calm and I know we've been through a lot but just wait mm, Wait for better days to come and carry us like wind Just keep 
Right, let's head inside and have a look around this ship. I'm quite overwhelmed by it all to be honest, everything is on a different scale to anything I've seen before. We all know these are big floating money generators at the end of the day, but I still found it a fun ship to be on without sticking my hand too deep into my pocket. But if you do want to splash the cash, DFDS will be very willing to help you do it. The one thing I'm always a wee bit disappointed by on board are these big airport style duty free shops. It's always the same rubbish they sell and I would much rather see local products from the places we're actually sailing between. But clearly that's not the stuff that actually sells. And I guess I need to remember this is a big tax free market. As I mentioned before, I brought some food on with me, but avoiding the fancy restaurants of course, the prices weren't actually too bad on board for snacks and drinks. Just remember though that prices are in Danish krona, so it's a wee bit more expensive than the Norwegian conversion you'll be used to using in Oslo. Guys, I can't not go to the pool, but I've got to find it first. It's like the Shining Hotel in here, there's hundreds of rooms, and it's very easy to get lost without the map. How nice is this? I think I'll just be sitting here till closing time, which is about 9 pm. They're gonna have to chuck me out. It didn't even cost anything to get in here. There's jacuzzis as well, but of course they're a lot more popular. But this will do me fine. To be honest, when I was on my ferry in the Baltic Sea, I never thought I'd be back on a ferry in roughly the same area, with this few clothes on. Right, I found this little route map and technical information. So we're on the Pearl Seaways, length 178 metres, cruises along at 17 and a half knots. Now this is what doesn't surprise me, having walked about and got lost a bit. There's 702 cabins with capacity for 1,832 passengers. This is a big ship. And it's also a long cruise as well today. We're going from Oslo to Copenhagen, which is 509 kilometers. My longest ferry journey yet. This ship must have some pretty impressive gyro stabilization or something, because it doesn't rock about at all. In fact, I can just set my camera up on the banister here and film the sunset and it's no problem at all. No more partying from me tonight, I'll see you in the morning. Morning folks, it's just after 6am and that's me up now. I think I've found the only outdoor space in the ship where it's not blowing an absolute hooli this morning. The ship's still fairly quiet but there's lots of prep going on for the busy morning ahead. Now how was my night in the cabin? Well it was good and bad. Let's start with the good, it was a really comfortable bed. And also because there's no movement on this ship, there was none of the rattles and noises that I would normally associate with a ferry cabin. The bad news, we had a stop at, I think it's called Frederickshaven, just before one o'clock in the morning. I wasn't sure we were doing that stop at all. But then there was all the announcements and the trucks and cars moving on and off the ferry. That kind of woke me up and I didn't get properly back to sleep after that. But I'm not complaining, the night was okay and I'm still just relieved to have a cabin at all, especially after my last ferry experience. And no, I'm not going for a swim this morning.
Another day, another country. Welcome to Central Station in Copenhagen, Denmark. This is probably my least favourite of the Scandinavian cities I've visited so far, and it's no coincidence it's also the largest. So on that bombshell, I'm going to head home. Thank you so much for watching today, and as always, take care, and I will see you soon, somewhere.